be the first one to view this house before it hits the market. Welcome to our Living in Southern California channel. My name is Willie. And I'm Anna. And today we are out in East Whittier showcasing this lovely remodeled home. Make sure to stick to the end because we want to show you what surrounds this neighborhood. Hey, so today we are out in East Whittier showcasing this lovely fully remodeled home. Anna, tell us about this house. Yes, this home is a four bedroom, two bath home. The living space is 2,000 square feet and the lot size is 6,600 square feet. Let's go check it out. Okay, folks, so as we come in, the first thing we come into is the kitchen. And this kitchen has been fully remodeled. As you can see, it's open, it's an open space kitchen. Let me just point something out to you. So I love when these kitchens are open to the living room. Let me show you here. This kitchen has been, is open to the living room. There's a fireplace over there. Now what happened here was, there was a wall in this whole entire area at one point. So they took off the wall. You can still see the beam up there. And then this post, right here is actually what's holding up that beam that beam that runs from the kitchen to the living room up above is holding the roof so yes it's a post that sits in the middle of nowhere but hey i think it looks good i think the idea here was great to open it up so let's take a look at this kitchen as you can see the kitchen is white these look like shaker cabinets i'm sure they're self-closing let's take a look they sure are. So you have some nice upper cabinets. You have some bottom cabinets. All the appliance here, appliances here are stainless steel. You have a stainless steel dishwasher. You have a stainless steel sink, stainless steel stove, microwave, refrigerator. And the countertops are quartz countertops. They're brand new, so you can see. There's a stainless steel sink. And the backsplash is a subway tile, which runs across. And there's a lot of natural sunlight coming in. Here's a little feature I like. This corner cabinet more than likely is a Lazy Susan, which it is. Take a look. Plenty of space back there. So what I like about this particular corner cabinet is that the space that's back here, the inside, typically is not accessible unless you have a Lazy Susan, which is very efficient and you're able to access the entire corner cabinet there. So this kitchen here is approximately, I'm gonna say about uh, 10 by 11 feet. It's uh, rather a small kitchen, but here's an idea. Let me know what you think about this idea. I think they should have placed an island. There's plenty of room for a small island right at the middle of the kitchen, in between the kitchen and the living room. What do you think? Drop me a comment. So this is the kitchen. There you go. So here's the living room. And again, this living room is open to the kitchen, which is there. Now, this living room, I'm gonna say is about a nine by 15, has a fireplace. And that fireplace there is gas. I'm sure you could use wood also, but that one is gas. The floors here are a natural color laminate floor, wood-like. And the area here, I said it's like a nine by 15, holds a good sized table. This one holds six. There's some recessed lighting up there. It's been freshly painted. And it has this detail here, which is a it's a glass window with shelves, with shelving, with a view to the uh, exterior. So there's plenty of natural light coming from the kitchen and this uh, living room. So there you go. That is the living room. All right, so to the left of the kitchen and living room, let me turn around here. We have a den. It's an addition. Now this addition here is 
going to be about 11 by 16 feet. It's a pretty huge den, or let's call it a family room. Has the laminated floors, recessed lights, freshly painted. It's a two-tone, not sure if the camera can pick that up. Now just keep in mind that this addition here has taken up a good portion of the backyard, okay? And so you have brand new sliding glass doors that lead to the patio there. And again, it's a good size. I, I like it. So that is the den slash, let's call it a family room. There you go. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure to subscribe and click that little bell so that you are notified every single time we do a brand new video. That's right, folks. Y no se les olvide que también hablamos español. So make sure to pick up that phone, give us a phone call, send us a text message, send us an email, or even a lightning bolt. Whichever way you'd like to get a hold of us, we, we got, got your back. back when moving to Whittier, California. All right, folks, here's bedroom number one, which I'm going to call the primary. This is the largest of the bedrooms here. There's a, uh, four bedrooms here. So this bedroom is about 12 by 12. It's a pretty good size, has new double pane windows. It's been freshly painted, new fan fixture there. Has the uh, laminate floors as you can see there. Also has brand new baseboards and a pretty huge closet back there. Let me show you. So that closet is pretty deep. As you can see there, pretty deep closet. So this is bedroom number one. There you go. All right, here's bedroom number two. I'm gonna say this bedroom is about uh, eight by eight feet. It's rather small, has new baseboards, freshly painted. Here's the closet on this side. There you go, has plenty of natural light coming in, has a huge double pane window there. And it also has the, uh, those laminate wood floors as you can see there. So this is bedroom number two. Okay, here's bedroom number three. I'm gonna say this bedroom's about an eight by 11. It's been freshly painted, has a new fan fixture. Here's the closet, plenty of natural light coming in. The uh, floors are also the same laminate floors that run throughout the entire house, new baseboards. And there you go, this is bedroom number three. Here's bedroom number four. Now this bedroom here is the smallest of the bedrooms. Now I'm gonna say this bedroom here is a seven by nine. Again, it has the laminate floors that are going throughout the entire house, new baseboards, new paint. Here's the closets. And I'm gonna say that the majority of these bedrooms in this house, I mean, my honest opinion is that these, these bedrooms are small. For the price they're asking, I mean, I would expect bigger bedrooms but I'm always gonna tell you the truth, and that's my opinion. Bedrooms are small except for the primary, but nevertheless, there you go. That's bedroom number four. Okay, so here's bathroom number one. As you can see, it's been fully remodeled. Has a frameless glass shower there, as you can see. New custom wall tile. I like that soap box that's in there, always handy. The flooring on this is a pebble. Natural stone, as you can see there, has a new toilet, new vanity. You know, let's check out the plumbing, let's see what kind of plumbing we have here. I'm gonna assume it's copper because all the new water fixtures require copper, but let's take a look. And sure, it sure is, back there it's copper, which is a big plus. This doesn't mean that the entire house is copper. It just means that there at the vanity, we have copper plumbing, we have some recessed lights up there. And this is a pretty cool bath. There you go, bathroom one. Okay, so here's bathroom number two. It's been fully remodeled, as you can see. Has a new vanity with some quartz countertops. The shower itself, it's a frameless shower. I love that. Nice soap box in there, as you can see. I love the flooring also inside the shower. It's a step-in shower, new toilet, cool bathroom. I like it. There we go. This is bathroom number two. Okay, folks, so this home is located in East Whittier and the neighborhood primarily consists of ranch style homes. Now, the majority of these homes out here are going to be three bedrooms, two baths. The average living space is anywhere between 1,100 square feet up to about 1,500 
and the lot sizes are, they start at about 5,500 and the largest lots I've seen around here are about 7,200 square feet. Okay, so now let's talk about the local schools because we know as realtors how important schools are to families moving into the neighborhood. So let's start off with Orchard Dale Elementary School. According to niche.com, this school ranks an eight and the student to teacher ratios are 20 to one. Then we have the middle school, which is Hillview Middle School. And according to niche.com, this school ranks an eight and the student to teacher ratio is 18 to one. Now the high school is Lucerna High School, which is an excellent school. And according to niche.com, this school ranks a 10 and the student to teacher ratio is a 26 to one. Also, you have great things to do with the family just minutes away. You have Parnell Park, which also has a viewing zoo with a wide variety of animals and birds to enjoy. What I love about this park is we also get to experience concerts in the park all summer long. And let's not forget that this park also has a community and a senior center with lots of amenities throughout the year. So much to do here at Parnell Park. Now, if you're into golfing and within minutes to this home, you also have the Friendly Hills Country Club. And if you're into shopping, you have the Whitwood Town Center. And just across the street from the Whitwood Town Center, you also have the Amazon store and the Sprout store. Okay folks, so now the only reason we didn't show you the backyard is that this house is still under construction. It hasn't hit the market yet. And so they're working on the backyard and there's a lot of construction equipment at the backyard. Now, the asking price for this house will be, once it hits the market, it's going to be 975,000. So if you'd like to know more about this house, simply reach out to us at the number down below. And if you're thinking about selling or buying, reach out to us. Let us make the process a lot easier for you. That's right.